Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sab if you're new here. Thank you guys so much for the warm welcome back on my last video. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so, so much. I am so excited to get into this today. We have uh, a lot to do. Sarah's gonna age up. We're gonna learn her next trait, which is really exciting. I said I wanted to go to Selva Dorada to celebrate, so that's what we're gonna be doing. And we also have Harvest Fest uh, to celebrate, which I'm probably not gonna go too all out for. It's probably gonna be really low key to be honest, but yeah, uh, we got a lot to do today. So let's just get into it, shall we? All right, guys, we are back. We're back in action. Um, I am so, so excited for this episode. Who's calling Ren? Mm -hmm. Sarah was upset. Sarah is at school right now. She's studying hard. Ren is thirsty. Yeah, have that plasma pack, girl. <laughs> What's Edison up to? Your reputation is everything. Regional manager. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so good on that. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're doing that, whatchamacallit, uh, seven wild dates thing with Edison, which I'm really excited about. It should be quite interesting. Uh, we have to go on seven seven dates and get a perfect, perfect, they have to be perfect dates. I don't really know what that is, like gold or something, gold dates. But yeah, we gotta do seven of them. I still don't know if they uh, can be with the same sim. I guess we'll find out as we go. But we only have three more <laughs> hours to do this uh, for the first date at least. So we're gonna have to go right now. Um, he's feeling very flirty right now. So I would say that this is a good opportunity to do that. So uh, yeah. Also, I asked you guys what, what you thought about the whole Teddy situation. And uh, I think there was only one of you that commented that it would be interesting to like see them try again. But yeah, 99.9% .9 of you did, were not down. <laughs> only because Teddy and Teddy like literally hates Sarah. Um, she's like, she hasn't been a very good mom. And every, basically every interaction that we've seen between both of them has been really bad. So, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I think that we should do what's best for Sarah, obviously. And, um, yeah, this pack is, like, perfect to explore love with Edison, the new pack that came out. So, yeah, thank you guys for your opinions, as always. I just think that's so crazy. Like, she... She's just so all over the place. I don't really understand her. She's literally married, like... <laughs> I can't, I cannot. Uh, but anyway, let's do this date. I don't really know how to do it. We should just like go on, just like ask on a date, I would assume. Um, a, couple of, a, little, a couple of you guys, do they need to be blind dates or just regular dates? He must have at least one perfect date by the time this mood expires to keep things going. Okay, so it doesn't say it has to be blind. It just says it has to be a date. So I vote that we go on a date with um, Eloise. Um, a lot of you guys were asking me to uh, explore that further. So let's, yeah, ask on date. Let's, let's do that. Oh my God, you can flirt through the phone now. All right, Eloise. Yes, let's see if she's down. We are hungry, so we should definitely go like get something to eat somewhere. Okay, where should we go? I, <laughs> I keep going to the same restaurants because I want to finish the experimental food. Ooh, is there a restaurant here? I doubt it. Yeah, we should just go to this one again because I know that we can get experimental food there. Um, I hope you guys have been well though since my last video. I have been uh, just still working on house stuff. There's still a lot of things to be done. Um, I'm still painting some things and uh, mm, we had to get a dining table. Um, I had one. It's like a little round one. It seats four. But now that <laughs> I am like back in uh, back in the area where like all my family and friends are, I needed a bigger dining table so that I can actually like host, you know? So I ended up ordering a, a new one that seated a lot more people so that I can like host dinners and things like that. And uh, yeah, that came in yesterday. We had to build, why are you? always around literally she's just staring at us i can't um 
uh, I had to build the chairs and, I, and uh, we had to build the table as well. So that took up so much time. And like with like one task, you go to do one task and then five more tasks arrive before you can finish that one. I'm sure you guys understand what I mean, but ew, I just want everything to be done and I just want to relax. <laughs> Uh, anywho, okay, so we're doing this thing. We gotta socialize 10 times, sit and talk, and socialize about meal. So let's get that, what the, let's get that done. What? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, there we go. I don't know what the heck that was, but I think my UI, <laughs> my UI um, mod needs to be updated because that did not look good. Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna like, we need, this date needs to be perfect, so I can't waste any time, you know? And from what I remember, these two got along really, really well. I love how he always wears his suit everywhere too. Oh, nice, Sarah's a B student now. Her grades are going up, I love that for her. Um, yeah, we just need to keep socializing. Oh, I can probably do this like at the table. <laughs> um, who are you here with? Who is this? John Palma. Are you seriously on a date with some- Why do I want to get a table like close to her so I can s s <laughs> So I can hear and see what's going on. The cheese may. I want it. Thank you. Thank you for the table. Oh, she changed. Oh, she looks great. Wow, look at you. You got your fancy clothes on. Let's go. Ask about love life, why not? He's still feeling flirty, which is good. Discuss healthy relationships. Oh my. Wait, what? You didn't have seven perfect dates. Sorry, no money. However, this drama is gold and has skyrocketed our ratings. So I had to complete the date by the time it... Wow, that's so dumb. I'm actually so bummed about that. Uh whatever. I guess we'll just still... I want to know what the prize was, though. Oh, it's 25,000 simoleons, a heart bed, and free couples counseling for four weeks. Additionally, because it's a reality TV show, your sim will instantly become a three-star celebrity. Okay, well... <laughs> that's kind of cool. But we don't really need that the money. I thought it was going to be something like that you could only get from completing this challenge. But okay, I'm not that upset anymore. But <laughs> anyways, it's been wonderful to spend time with you. Aww. Where are you going? See what's happening. Boys, sit down. They both they both got up at the same time. So I don't really know what you're she and she's practicing or singing. Lovely. All right. Well, let's uh. Let's at least order some food. Oh, hold on. Let me check the collections to see which ones we already have. Um, experimental foods. Iceberg lettuce. Bamboo roll. Fish trio. Garden vegetable cups. Honeycomb garden vegetable cups. Tiger shrimp. Vanilla seashells. Volcano pasta. Okay, I'll try to remember. Um, not gonna get them alcohol this time because <laughs> our poor boy, our poor boy got hung over last time. So let's just get water and then, okay. Fruit gel and foam nest. That is something that we have not gotten a picture of. Um, I know that you can only order like courses at one time. So I'm gonna do appetizers and then I'll order more. I'm gonna get rid of this sad mood lit cause like I don't even know who he's sad about dying. Like I think it was just some random person. I don't think this date went well, whatever it was. Edison, go back to your seat. <sighs> what is Wilson freaking out about? Is he having a baby? Another baby? Hmm, curious. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the food. Take photo. Do not answer that. Let's order some more stuff as well. 
Whoa. Whoa, who's dying? Oh no. Oh God. Okay, there's an elder dying on the lot. So that's, that's, that's great. Um, <laughs> I know that we don't have the space taco. So let's grab that. Rest in peace, River Coats. Thank you for ruining our date though. Oh no, not the refined palette. Quirk, he's barely famous, dude. Okay, well. <sighs> this happens way too often for me to even like be phased by it. Hi, Evangeline. Ugh, our date is crying. Dude, come on. She's just always around. She's always around. At least we got a legendary date. I don't really know why. Okay, Grim, you need to go do your thing. Everyone's just gonna be crying the whole time. Oh, if only, if only I could have a game that ran super smooth and didn't do this all the time. Oh, Elle did have the baby, but Wilson is here and he was pr Okay. All right, well, congratulations, Elle and Wilson. Big ups. Oh, let's have her build her charisma skill and Ren, let's- oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. No, Ren, go home. No, go home. That was my bad. Should we just like stay here and order food, like meal after meal after meal until we finish our collection? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm- I'm afraid I'm gonna have to reset this guy. Okay. He's gone and everyone's over it. All right, rest in peace, my guy. Sorry you didn't get a proper reaping, but like that was just getting ridiculous. Ugh. Maybe Sarah will get the seven wild dates thing or Ren. That would actually be pretty interesting to go on seven blind dates with Ren. <laughs> I think she's a better candidate for that anyways. Okay, uh, this is not working. So I guess... Shoot, I don't know. All right, it's six in the morning. I'm ending the meal and leaving. This is actually crazy, yeah. Thanks though. That date was so bad. I think we should try again. Of course, there had to be a freaking uh, death to ruin it all and completely bug my game. So dope. And I did forget to change the maximum number of Sims on the lot. I even have a note right here in front of my face and I freaking forgot, typical. All right, so it is Thursday. Uh, I think I might have Sarah take a vacation day on Friday so we, so that we can, um, so that we can go to Selva Dorada early. Why are you sad? All alone and, oh, Emery. <gasps> she finally got over her nicotine addiction. Oh, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud. I wonder if there's anything that we can like say to her. We can express admiration. Oh, just kidding. He's about to pass out. Oh my God, you poor guy. I'm so sorry. I'm working you to death. Worked himself to death. Anyways, um, yes, Ren, uh, let's definitely come over here and let's, uh, oh, what's this? Sims will take longer to burn. Okay, that's nice. Let's wear this. Actually, we need to charge it. Dang it. I always forget. You gotta charge everything after you make it. Oh my god, who now? Manami? What? How did she die? Oh, she was an elder. Oh, wow. Okay. I had no idea. I had no freaking idea. That's crazy. Oh, yes. We have this. This. Is it? Charge on Crystal Grid. I want to wear that when we go to Selva Dorada. So it's Harvest Fest today. I'm wondering if we should invite over Teddy and her new husband to dinner tonight. I mean, it makes sense, right? It makes sense. It's Sarah's mom. <sighs> I think we probably should. Uh, let's see. Romantic repair date. Oh, that's new. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just thinking dinner party. Do we have bad compatibility? We do, we have bad compatibility with Teddy's new boyfriend or husband, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, Teddy Fournier, crazy. Okay, um, who else should we invite? I honestly think that should be it. Yeah, we'll do it at our house at five. Who do I want to cook the grand meal? <laughs> Probably Ren. Actually, Edison maxed his cooking skill too. Yeah, you're not doing anything but being on Sarah's computer for some reason. Why, I don't know, but uh, let's see. What shall we make? Cook a grand meal. Um, they really need to add... Uh, it's almost Sarah's birthday. I know, I know, I cannot wait. Uh, they really need to add more grand meals, like more of a selection. Uh, they, I feel like they've been the same since uh, forever. Um, we should also make like some kind of dessert, like a pumpkin pie or a cobbler. Pumpkin scones, oh my god, yum. Chocolate pie, where's the pumpkin pie? Pumpkin stew, there it is. All right, a grand meal and pumpkin pie. We're going super classic this year. <laughs> super traditional. And Evangeline's here. Hello, my dear. Oh, we should invite her husband as well. I totally forgot. I don't think we know him though, so we're gonna have to summon him. Ren, you can stop making jewelry once you max it. Uh, what is this though? More successful with romantic socials, okay. Oh my god, so many errors being logged. This sucks. I feel like my game is gonna be broken for a good amount of time. I have no idea what's going on. Is it because he's cooking? What is happening right now? Oh my god, stop! Oh, it's MC Command Center? Yeah, she's almost maxed. It's so freaking close. All right. All right, the dinner party is about to start, so I'm gonna put the food out. Sarah is at cheerleading right now. She should be back soon though. Maybe we should put some music on. Jazz. Jazz gives me Thanksgiving vibes. <laughs> Let's start. Um, no, Sarah doesn't have to come back yet. Let's also um, search for drugs. What the? I didn't know you could do that. I just accidentally clicked that. Oh, she got promoted to cheerleading teammate. Nice. She'll be a uh, cheer captain in no time. Actually, shoot, she won't be cheer captain before we uh, before we age up. Damn, it's okay. Nice drink platter, very nice. I love this glow bar so much. So classy, I love it. All right, everyone, let's eat. I hope everyone uh, sits at the table and talks, but I think that's asking way too much. <laughs> Sarah, you look beautiful. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Eat, eat some food, sit down, have a drink, whatever. Oh, not Sarah having a Negroni. And that's it, no food, okay. And, uh, Looks like Teddy went for straight straight for the pie. <laughs> wingle zips, wingle laws and lorn. Maisie Grove, Craybow. Maisie Grove, Craybow. Oh, she's thinking about Sarah. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay, they're all talking. Who did you just kiss? He just blew a kiss. I don't know if it was to the air. Look at him. Back together again. Oh, excuse me. Aw, she's cleaning up. How nice. Everyone's being civil, I see. <laughs> so funny. Friends, like, I'll leave you to it. Oh, just kidding. She got closer. Mm. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh god. Where is your husband? Oh god, where are you going? Oh, okay. That scared me. I thought they were going to woohoo. Oh, he's right here. I wish we could tell him what she just did. Because, uh... Oh, I know what that is. It's from the freaking woohoo wellness mod. I'm pretty sure it's broke. Okay. Are you looking for love? Be sure to check. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, I think we should just ask her to just be friends. Because, like... I'm really not trying to do any of that. <laughs> Sarah likes deception. Okay, sure. Ask to just be friends. Please stop flirting. I literally can't handle it. Like, sorry. I think we should just co-parent. Yeah, cool off their romantic relationship. Yeah. You don't say. I can't believe he took her kisses, dude. Like, why? Why are you doing that? Everyone have pie as well. Poor Cliff. He has no idea what's going on. I swear she flirts with us again. In front of Cliff. Oh, did he just... Ew, Evangeline, come on, dude. That's sick. What are they doing? Ugh. Edison, Edison, Edison. Oh my gosh, Mari is having a baby with Kinsley Coates. Wait, why did I feel like I just saw this name somewhere? What was I doing? Rothio's having another baby too. Dang, it's, they always come in twos or threes. It's never just one person. Anyways, I'm just having them watch a movie to end the night. We're leaving for Salvadorada tomorrow, so we don't want to be up too late. <laughs> Teddy's just walking around with that pie. She can't get- Ren, will you sit? Standing right in front of the screen so no one else can see. All right, Sarah, um, let's go ahead and take a vacation day from school. How do you do that again? Harvest Fest was awful. No, it wasn't. It was really good. Whatever, guys. I did my part. Who is calling Edison, though? Another death. Luz Duran. Rest in peace, Luz. All right. So let's go ahead and do this thing. I can't wait any longer. Take a vacation. Um, I'm wondering, should we bring a date? Kind of want to bring Evangeline. I want to bring her husband too, but he is not showing up on the list. That's so annoying. Okay, maybe not then. Um, Wait, who did I do? Ren. I want Ren to come. Definitely. I kind of want to bring Eloise. I want to see how that goes. Screw it. Let's, let's just do it. I did say I wanted to spend more time with her, so uh, why not, you know? It's vacation time! Salvadorada! I'm actually super stoked! It's been so long since we've been there! Oh my god, we can take a vacation to Batu as well? Why do I feel like we need to do that sometime in the future? Okay, eight bedrooms. This one has three bedrooms. I hope the horse isn't coming. <laughs> this one has two bedrooms. Mmm. Yeah, we should probably do the one with eight. I think this is the one that we stayed in last time, right? Whatever, we've got the money. So today, tomorrow, Sunday, I guess four days, 3,000? That's pocket change for this family. <laughs> I'm so excited, I actually feel like I'm going on vacation myself. I could really use a vacation right now. <laughs> Oh my god, the horse is here. Okay, maybe I should... Dang it, I want to send the horse home. There's like no food or anything here for you. Welcome to the jungle! Some handy adventure items have been added to your inventory. If you plan on exploring the Belomicia jungle, you should first stop by Puerto Lamante Marketplace and pick up more gear. 
All right. Oh my God. Yeah, and it's still decorated from the last time we were here too. How fun. Oh, oh and they're all single beds. <sighs> lame. <laughs> lame, lame, lame. All right. Well, uh, we are gonna be exploring. What? There's already a fu- Girl? I swear. Oh my god, she's on fire. <sighs> well, that- that's- that's not a very good first impression, but whatever. <laughs> Hi, fireman. Or fire- Oh, you're pregnant. Oh, you're- you're doing a sexy dance. The fire, the pregnant fire lady is doing the sexy dance. Okay, bye. Yeah, you just had to do that real quick. That, that's honestly crazy. Okay. Um, <laughs> Um, is this the place that we need to go to? No, that just looks like a little random camp site thing. Okay, I'm gonna travel with Ren to the main square so that we can get some supplies because uh, well, part of the reason why I wanted to come here was for was for the, oh my God, I can't even talk right now. The collections, my goodness, spit it out, Thav. And also it will give Ch uh, Ren a chance to uh, level up her archeology span skill. That is one that we haven't done before. And then I'm thinking that we should like take Sarah with us. I know that there's a there's a chance that she will die, but dang it, the booth isn't even open though. Are you telling me that we can sell stuff here? No? Okay. All right, well, I guess I'll just sit here and wait until it opens. I forgot what Ren's favorite drink is. Let's see what it is. It's been so long. We really ha <laughs> don't really play with Ren that much. She is, uh, oh, it's red wine. Of course it is. She's basically just a, a, a skill cow, as bad as that sounds. <laughs> Cash cow, skill cow, you get it. You understand where I'm coming from. Ooh, Ooh so good. I just need some supplies. So I'm just gonna have some wine at 5.30 in the morning and wait. Oh lordy. Wear a fully charged jewelry piece? Oh yeah! Oh shoot! Shoot! I forgot to grab it! I'm so mad at myself. Oh! It was a piece of jewelry that we could wear that would help us like with the collections and stuff. Okay, well let's just wear this. Uh, did we complete the aspiration? Oh no. Grow a magnificent crystal tree. Make five pieces of excellent jewelry, complete crafting gemstones or jewelry ten times while focused. Okay. Is it open yet? Can we buy stuff? Yes, we can. Okay. Hello. Oh, is this just food? Dang it, no, I need uh I need supplies. Oh. Purchase archaeology table. Buy exploration supplies. Yes. Jungle machete. And he's got a flower. Yeah, let's buy that. We might need it for a collection. Do you have stuff in your inventory from last time? Okay, so we've got a bed. I guess we can get that. Um, pet beds. Why? I, I don't know why there's so many in so many different colors. I guess this is a pet bed. Uh... <laughs> uh I don't even know what I was gonna say. A pet bed guy who sells them, you know? I need stuff that'll help me in the jungle. A cooler for food. I know that we probably have stuff in our inventory from last time. What's this? Fertilizer? No, we need like bug spray and stuff. Where do we even get it? Should we get the machete? Might as well. Ask about new stock. Check back later. It changes a few times a day. Really? Oh my god, what are you doing? Help me. Girl! <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's not Sarah's birthday today, right? No, it's tomorrow. Okay, so we can spend all day today uh, exploring and like... Yeah, exploring and finding stuff. Wait, do we start over here? I think we do. 
Okay, let's go over here. Let's go to this national park. I'm not gonna bring Sarah because I'm too scared that something's gonna happen and she's gonna pass away or get cursed or I don't I don't really know. <laughs> it's just too risky. And Ren has everything maxed, so she should be fine. Selva. Selva da Rada. All right, let's get you. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> let's get you in a different outfit. Um, dang, I wish we had like an explorer outfit for her. I think that'd be so cute. Why you got a naked one? Uh, okay, let's just go active wear. All right. Don't know who y'all are, but hi, hello. Her mood is fantastic, so I think that we can just jump right in, TBH. All right, as Ren emerges into a clearing with a watering hole, she comes across a small family of capybars out for an afternoon drink. They look adorable, though the smallest one looks a bit, though the smallest one looks a bit scorched and upset. Should Ren attempt to see what's going on or leave them in peace? High charisma skill leads to better results. Cautiously approach. Ren sits with the capybars for a long time until they realize that she is not a threat. Ren slowly approaches the hurt capybara without startling it. After washing the capybara off in the water, she examines it to see if it's okay. It doesn't seem hurt, just a little spooked. As the capybara swims off, Ren notices something shiny in the water and fishes out a prize. Thick. Harvest all. Yeah, I'll take some free avocados, bro. Aha! Our first excavation spot. Let's freaking go. I love how she can just like fly everywhere too. So it like reduces the chances of her getting attacked by bugs and stuff. Cloud gaze, feeling the falls. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She is in her element right now, really enjoying the scenery. Just kidding, she's getting attacked by bats. <laughs> Drats, it's bats, plasma bats at that. Ren sees them coming and with a kick of adrenaline prepares to cash in all that time working on her body's fitness to dodge whatever attack they may have planned. Okay. Are you gonna dodge it? Okay, she's fine. <laughs> she's all good. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next area. Culinary career. Nah, maybe later. All right, what do we got? Ren is having a really enjoyable hike in the jungle when she suddenly hears a sim screaming a short ways off. She sprints in the direction of the screaming and finds a sim that is being menaced, menaced by a carnivorous plant. Higher handiness skill leads to better results. Create a distraction. Using only a few items from her pack, Ren creates a surprisingly realistic dummy in only a few seconds. <laughs> she tosses the dummy in the direction of the vine. Surprisingly, the car carnivorous plant takes the bait and the sim uses the opportunity to make an escape. The other sim is so grateful that he gives ran a bunch of stuff he collected in the jungle oh my god thanks no teddy stop texting us just stop it's getting sad at this point all right we got one authenticated mask which i think we already had how do we find better stuff oh hello this path is sealed shut and cannot be open on this trip perhaps next vacation you're telling me i gotta come back Wow, that's how they get you. That is how they get you. All right, we got a couple limestones as well. Let's crack those open now and see if... Okay, great. None of them were new fossils. We've had them all. We have them all, I think. Send Ren to the temple. Okay, yeah, let's go. If you guys have any tips on excavating Salvadorada, let me know. Oh, wow, looks like there's a bunch of other people here as well. Hi guys, y'all made it to the temple too, huh? Good for you. Yeah, I wanna go in here. Hold on, let me uh, check the area for, oh, hello. There's so many little places that we can excavate here. I want to go in. Edison, what are you doing here, my guy? Sarah's here too? Oh my God, you guys, go back to the lodging. Hold on a second. <gasps> Bro! <laughs> Try to pass. Uh, we can't go anywhere without someone dying or woohooing. I can't. Wait, look, it's closed. You try to walk in, bounce back. Try unlocking the force field by deactivating the temple defenses. A cat head atop an ancient relic. Oh, what the? Hello. Temple guardian? In sight cheers. No, Ren, now's not the time. Now is not the time. Can I go in the temple, please? 
The skeletons in this game are so adorable. I love them. They just seem so nice. Okay, I really want to get in this temple though. Where is that cat statue? What is this? Activate. Okay, hold up. Ren bypassed the temple's defenses and the gate has opened. Ren can now venture further into the temple and find the rewards. We have been blessed with glorious taste. Every dish is delighting her taste buds, even poorly prepared dishes. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand now. I understand. Can you please stop doing that? Oh god, that guy was on fire. <laughs> um, anywho. Let's, let's, let's just keep it going. Let's keep keep getting down further. There's a bunch of excavate spots. I'm sorry, I know this isn't the most uh, exciting gameplay, but like I really want to do this collection. Really bad. And we're level six now. What can we do? Ren can now find even more artifacts. Multiple sims are able to work on excavation sites at one time. Okay. I definitely feel like I have not done this before or it's just been so long that I don't remember at all. <laughs> I just wish she was uh, faster at excavating. Oh shoot, okay. Uh, we're on to the next one, which is taking us to a completely different screen. Go to work. Oh my God, you have got to be kidding me. I'm so mad right now. Oh, she really likes Edison. She just swooned a little. How do you feel about her now? Neutral unknown attraction level. Okay, well. Oh, he's flirting with her on his own. Ask about physical attraction. Let's see. Looks aren't everything, but truthfully, I do look out for some physical aspects. Gray hair, platinum hair, boho fashion, orange clothes. Turn offs, hot pink hair, and black clothes. Oh, okay. Ask about personality attraction. Turn ons, broke sims. <laughs> I can't. That is so not us. Um, academic skills, sense of humor, funny sims, turn off, highly skilled sims, family motivated sims. Um, that's literally us though. We're not broke. We're very skilled in a lot of things. And we are extremely family motivated. Oof. That's not good, guys. That is not good. We have a lot of turnoffs, though. Should we? I think we need to like. We need to like tell her more about us, cause. Uh, yeah, I think that'll probably change her opinion of us. Share my personality. Share some personal details. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think she'll she'll be down. Tell her about your financial status. Tell her about how you love your family. Edison's career, Edison's financial status. Yeah. How's how how do you feel about that? Share my personality quirks. Very awkward encounter. Poor Sarah. We should probably like bring someone here for her too. Oh, uh, who though? Who do we want to bring? All of her friends are young adults now. Yeah, they're all young adults. All of them. Okay, Ren, I, I really want to go back. Travel to temple. Okay, let's go. Um, Ren found some wondrous items in the treasure chest. She took an artifact and some adventure gear and put them in her inventory. Okay, sick. What are you about to do? Chat with Clint? No, we're busy. Pablo used a condom. Oh my God. People love woohooing in these sacred sites. I would never. That's like woohooing in a church or something. Dude, go away. I'm busy. Ren can now refine crystals on the table. These crystals can be used to create powerful relics. No way. Stop talking to these people. Oh my god, are you seriously telling a story right now? Why you gotta do it right there? I am so busy. Another person woohooing. <gasps> Oh, honey, is that? I actually don't know who that is. Oh my God. So pregnant though. You really shouldn't be here. Beautiful. Love this for us. Okay, it looks like this is the end. There's two treasure chests for us to open. 
I don't know what this skeleton is here for, but... Simoleons, an adventure gear, and a mystical relic. Safe and secure. She feels safe and secure down here. Nothing beats being deep underground, surrounded by concrete shelter and pure safety. Ren found the ultimate treasure of the temple. She should take a look around for other discoveries before leaving. Okay. Wow, look, everyone's having a grand old time. Freaking pool party at the temple, dude. All right. What is everybody up to? Not much. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead. Edison's dancing. He's already celebrating. There we go. It's a little bit more exciting now. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but it's not letting me freaking cook a cake. Every time I click cook, it just does not work. I'm going to have to buy a cake box. It's always some kind of inconvenient glitch for me. Always, always, always. Um, let's do the honey cake. That's always my favorite one to do. It just looks so good. I would love to make this in real life. I just feel like it would be really, really hard. But it just looks so dang good, dude. All right. Got the cake. Ren, uh, why are you sleeping in a bush, my girl? Like, why? Oh, Kieran's here. What the hell? Why? <laughs> Looks like there's an archaeologist table here, too. Um, you like funny sims? Okay, yeah. You can start working on um, excavating or extracting those or whatever. Aw. What? No! Are you freaking for real, dude? He just flirted with Kieran. No. 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 No, no, no. No! Hold on. Create custom relationship level? What should this relationship be called? Um, I don't know. Family? I love that you're here, but... Maybe don't? No! Oh my god, I swear. They don't have any romance yet. Why are you doing... Come sit over here and cool off. Do you need to come take a cold shower or something? Cause this is good. Why is the horse in the bathroom? Yeah, you definitely need to relax a bit. Sarah's responsible now. Oh my God, I'm so proud of her. She's doing so well. Man, I do remember Ren made Alice the anti-vampire drink at this bar right here and then gave it to her right here. I remember like it was yesterday. Where's Eloise anyways? Is she sleeping? Does she dip? I don't blame you, girl. This family on family crap is getting out of hand. All right, come sit over here. Ren, are you almost done with that? All right, after careful analysis, Ren has determined this artifact is genuine. Further analysis will allow Ren to continue to hone her skill. All right, that's pretty beautiful. We might've already had that one, but hey. All right, girl, come over here. Let's make a wish. Blow it out, blow it out, make a wish. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Happy freaking birthday. I hope you're enjoying your time here. I hope this was a fun alternative to going out and partying. So much more low key than usual, but. Hoppa Borfna. All right. Oh my gosh, and we get to figure out her adult aspiration as well. All right, guys, we are ready. We are ready to find out her third trait. Since she inherited two already, I think the third one might be unique. I'm hoping, I think that's how this thing works, but uh, yeah, let's find out. Oh my gosh, and her adult aspiration as well, okay. I think the first time that we generated the traits, it might've given us an adult aspiration, but I'm not gonna count this one, I'm gonna count this one. Paranoid? And the the Tamarani knowledge aspiration. Okay, I guess that'll give us a chance to like explore that aspiration, but dang it, she got paranoid. It is a unique trait. Paranoid, huh? I wonder. I wonder where she got that from. But okay, paranoid it is. 
romantically reserved love bug oh my god that's so cute practice makes perfect but yeah yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay and then this one the aspirations under location uh here we go this sim wants to immerse themselves in everything tom Mering has to offer that might be hard because we don't live there. I hope the aspiration doesn't require us to live there. But okay. All right, girly. Happy birthday and congratulations on graduating. She did not get valedictorian, which is okay. All right, definitely take a piece of that cake. Wow, Edison just came for the cake. He wasn't even here to watch her age up. Crazy. Where the hell is Eloise? Does she have work or something? She's definitely not here. Wow, their romance is really high. Should we get Sarah a job? I think we probably should, right? <laughs> yeah, Edison Edison can be the only one that, that uh, that's jobless. Well, he owns a business. I guess that's not technically jobless, but yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think we should get for a job for her. Ren can now share her archeology span experience by others, um, with other sims by writing a book on the computer. Wow, fancy. Um, but yeah, let me know what job you guys think that she should have, Sarah. I am thinking about it, and honestly, I can't even think of something. There's no, like, horse job. Um, maybe she can, like, spend her time making money with horse competitions? Well, Edison's asleep and Ren is at work, so why don't we, uh go explore with sarah a little bit let's just like go to a little square see if we can meet anyone Ooh, a guitar i love that she has this mood lit from quitting smoking i'm literally so proud of her she didn't really have a choice but you know i'm still proud all right um vicente who's this oh he's a young adult wait this is the this is the person that ren was flirting with before I guess we can introduce ourselves. Wait, who are you? Ab Abru Rom Roman? Roman? Ro Roman? Introduce ourselves to you as well. And you. They're all giving me tips. I, I really appreciate it. I really do. Fernando Padilla as well? Wait, what? Why are we getting stuff for our aspiration here? Meet a sim with a child of the village personality trait? Oh, nice. Use Tomorani introduction. Oh, okay. This is a compost. I wonder whose kid this is. Also, this sim is so cute. How come we can't introduce ourselves to you? The bartender just completely abandoned her post. Oh my god, why are all sims doing that dance now? How do I do it? Or is that a Salvadorada thing? Gregorio. Hello. I'm gonna scope in here just just to see. Oh wow! Wow, she is not picky. Holy crap! People here really get down. I appreciate that. I ain't never seen a sim move their hips like that before. I don't know if that's Selva Dorado or the new pack. Someone tell me. Whoa. A whole mood. Holy crap. I know what his favorite color is. I love Selva Dorada. It's so pop in here. Highly skilled Sims. She likes highly skilled Sims. She hates slackers, taking Sims, culinary skills, ambitionless Sims, and hardworking Sims. Wait, what? That is so contradictory. She doesn't like slackers and she doesn't like hardworking Sims. So she likes it right in the middle, I guess? I don't really know. It's very interesting. What about physical? Rocker fashion. She doesn't like red hair. She doesn't like white hair, preppy fashion, brown clothes or red clothes. What about you, Gregorio? I like your nose piercing. That That's really nice. Oh, she's got two nose piercings. Aww. Oh. Oh. Not her lurking in the back. 
I can't. Oh, turn ons, broke sims, drink making skills, medium technology skills, hardworking sims, optimist, turn off, career minded sims. All right. Well, we're definitely not broke. I'm so sorry. Why do all these sims like broke sims? And why does she keep glaring at us? She's sleepy. Let's go back. Oh, well, at least we met a couple. So hold on, who's that? Dylan Navarro? Um. Hi, how are you? How's it going? Don't leave. Don't leave, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> Turn your butt around this instant. Oh, oh. That makes a lot of sense, honestly, it does. Thinking about her childhood and all that? Yes, absolutely. What are you into? Please don't say broke sims. Oh, I think he might be paranoid too. Turn ons, homebodies, performance skills, turn off. Self-employed slackers, engineering and egotistical. Engineering skills and egotistical sims, okay. That's, that's, that's pretty good. He's really handsome, guys. I like his vibe a lot. All right, turn ons, gray hair, red hair, turn offs, blonde hair, dark blue hair, gray clothes, orange clothes. Okay. Hey, where, where do you think you're going? Don't leave. Okay, I can hang out for a bit. Okay, fantastic. Watch the sky with him. Oh my God, she's so tired though. Oh. oh, that was fast. Okay. Oh, she's going to pass out. Ah, shoot. All right. Um, well, I guess that's our cue to go. It was really nice to meet you, though, Dylan. That was embarrassing. We passed out in front of him. That was my bad. I worked her too hard. All right. Well, I think that we should end the vacation early just because we basically did everything that we wanted to do already. Um, yeah, let's go home. I know that we have um, an archaeology table at home so we can finish, <gasps> excuse me, excavating or like, I don't even know what you call it, refining all the stuff that we found. And Sarah met a couple of people in Selva Dorado, which is really exciting. I really like that Dylan guy. He looked rather interesting. I really like the turn on turn offs thing though. I think that's super fun. I'm still kind of scared to go into Cass. I might try it after I'm done fil filming just to see if it's fixed so that we can go into Cass in the next episode. Well, welcome home everybody. Okay, Sarah, you are exhausted. So I'm gonna send you to bed. Let's see his profile. Perceived as attractive, okay. It looks like Ren's going to sleep too. I think everybody is exhausted. Oh yeah, another thing. We uh, we built our relationship with Eloise a lot. He still feels neutral about her like physical aspects. His romantic satisfaction with her is fine. They're smitten. Okay. I really want to get the um, life decider back in my game. So I can like at least give these sims like a little bit of a backstory, like skills and a career. I love that mod, I used to use it all the time. It's probably not updated though. Okay, where is the archeology span table? Did I put it down here? It is down here, let's go. Oh, someone's calling Sarah, who is it? The bluffs? I'm good, Nicole, thanks though. Really appreciate the invite. Okay, what did we get? Genuine artifacts, golden mask of cause. Oh my goodness. She's about to max her archaeology skill. Uh, Skyla Rich and Aston Kalani. Ashton Kalani, I don't know who that is. Jordan is also having a baby with Morgan Ham. Congratulations, Jordan. And it looks like we have these things in our inventory that we can uncover in our inventory. Sarah, why are you freezing to death? What are you even doing? I swear. I've been trying to get her to go to sleep for like five years. Our little collections room is looking so cool. Uncover. Oh, you do those on the table. Okay. Oh my God, this is gonna take so long. Holy crap. This thing is worth $8,000. Sunburst jungle is gold. P 
Pirerica. Holy crap. That's dope. We maxed it. Ren can share her scholarly knowledge. Her ability to practice analysis on collectibles and find high quality artifacts is greatly enhanced. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. I have been filming for so long. <laughs> I'm not surprised. We did a lot today. In the next, I can't, I can't believe Sarah's already aged up. I have like nothing to look forward to now, you know? Edison's birthday isn't for a long while. So, oh my God. And then Sarah's birthday is the day after that. And then Ren's birthday? Wait, what? Why is Ren gonna age up? That doesn't make any sense. That must be some kind of glitch. Okay, so Edison and Sarah are gonna be aging up around the same time. That's wild. Well, definitely let me know which job you think we should get Sarah. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just um, keep going on dates for both of them. Mm, I can't believe we're almost to the next gen already. What the actual hell? And I've been wanting to enter horse riding competitions, so I'm definitely going to be doing that in the next one. And let me know what else you guys want to see. Leave me comments. I love hearing your guys' opinions and wants and needs and all that jazz. Uh, I freaking love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I think I'm going to sit here for a while and work on these artifacts. Um, if anything important happens, I'll just, I'll, I'll exit the game so that I can deal with it with you guys. But I want to get this done and I don't, I don't want it to take up too much of like an episode's time. So yeah, I'll just be here doing that. Hopefully we find some good stuff. I'll let you guys know what we find in the next one. I love you so much. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.